We're here with Joel Goldman. He's a managing director for the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Joel, so glad to see you out here to support Project Angel for Divine Design. Well, you know, Elizabeth Taylor had supported Project Angel Food from its very inception, and she was one of the first um, people, on, on, an early trustee on their board of directors, and when she formed the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, our first grant for $150,000 was to Project Angel Food back in 1991. So there's a long history here, but this is the first time that we've actually been part of Divine Design. Uh, it just said we had never been asked to donate white diamonds and so this year I happened to meet somebody on the board and we talked about this and so we're here tonight supporting with white diamonds and we're really excited about that. that is awesome I'm so excited to see you guys out here because it's been a little bit quiet um, so we're looking forward to seeing more now I'm curious I know we know that Elizabeth Taylor um, believed in helping support you know AIDS and awareness of it what do you think she wanted to be remembered most for I think she I think her family first and I think and the closeness of her family today it really shines through what a family woman she was and so I think that first I think her AIDS legacy second and I didn't know her so it's hard for me to rank it but my my impression is is that that she and especially in the later half of her life she saw her fame to be used for for shaking people up when it came to HIV and AIDS. What is the foundation up to now? Well, we, we've just launched our new website, www.etaf.org. Uh, we've launched our new website, but we've also, um, you know, I, I'm the first managing director. Miss Taylor managed it, her own foundation, until she passed away and they hired me and part of what we're trying to do is trying to reinvigorate the conversation around prevention especially for young people in this country the highest increase of infection rates are in people under the age of 30 between 13 and 30 and we're trying to get that conversation started and and retell it like Miss Taylor used to do so so I'm just curious do you have anybody that's going to be stepping forward as the face of the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation? Well, I've been really lucky at this point in that the people who have, um, who are involved are a lot of her grandchildren. Uh, she has ten grandchildren, four great-grandchildren, and this fall I would say probably six or seven of them have been out with me to various things, and they're using their talents. Um, her grandson, Quinn, is a photographer, and we did a whole photography project. We went and we shot people who have been helped by grants um, from, from the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. Her granddaughter, Layla, is a graphic designer. She designed our holiday card. Uh, there's a grandson, Reese, who's going to play at an event, who's a musician, a jazz musician. He plans to play at an event, and they're all trying to use their talent. So I'm really lucky. We've also just partnered on the programmatic side. We've partnered with Grassroots Soccer, which Ethan Zahn from Survivor Winner uh, Africa had started, and is teaching prevention in Africa about uh, it, through soccer to young people in, in Africa. And, we just partnered with him, but we also partnered with Madonna in Raising Malawi to put our programs into the 10 schools she built there through Build On and the orphanage uh, that she supports where she adopted her son David from. That is awesome. Now, if people want to catch up with the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, where's the best place to catch up with you guys? And then also, since this is the holiday season, okay, what does a donation do to help Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation? You know, the best part, aside from what I was talking about before, about Elizabeth Taylor leaving her 25% of her royalties, from all her likeness, perfume, everything goes into the foundation. But she also set it up so that 100% of our foundation's overhead is covered by her trust. So that means that anytime someone makes a donation from the public, 100% goes directly to whether it's a Project Angel Food to feed people or a place where we house people or medical services or hospice. So I think it's a great foundation to give to and that you know 100% of your donation goes directly to what it's used for. Yeah. That is awesome, Joel. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you, Joyce. I look forward to seeing this.